Roadrunner. It's pretty mind-blowing. In just two years of development, Anduril Industries managed to pull off what many others couldn't, a drone that takes out airborne threats and stays intact. Initially, it stays in a special shelter called The Nest. The company doesn't disclose specific details about the dimensions of the drone storage space, but judging from the footage, it seems pretty compact, making transportation easy. It's not clear how the drone gets activated and takes off from its nest, but we can guess that it launches automatically when there's an airborne threat detected on radars or other detection systems. Systems. So the drone takes off, breaking the speed of sound and quickly reaches its target using an autopilot system. Then there's an explosion, which means Roadrunner just took down the drone. It's clear that there's still a lot we don't know about how the system works, but judging from the video, it seems to be getting the job done. Obviously, this isn't the finished product, so let's keep an eye on how the project develops. After all, Roadrunner has the potential to take airborne threat response to a whole new level. Here's a fun fact, one of the investors in this project was Palantir, a company which takes its name from the Magic Stone from the Lord of the Rings. There's also the Anduril Sword from the same universe, the name of which is somehow very similar to the name of the drone manufacturing company. What do you think the next military gadget named after a mythical item from Tolkien's world could be? Share your ideas in the comments. BTD can you safeguard military transport with the push of a button? Sure thing. Here's a module that can do just that. The module is designed to be mounted on the top of the vehicle and doesn't take up much space. In the video, it's shown being installed on an all-terrain vehicle, but it can be fitted onto any vehicle with enough space. You'll need room not just for the module itself, but also for a kind of activation device that goes inside the cabin. If everything's set up properly in case of danger, the driver or passenger just needs to press a single button. Within half a second, four smoke canisters will be ejected from the module. These canisters create a smoke screen with a diameter of 82 feet and a minimum height of 13 feet, which is definitely enough to hide several cars or other small objects from the enemy. Plus, the smoke lingers for a long time, so thanks to the module with the canisters, you can safely get out of trouble. Showrad. This 10-ton robotic track platform can carry up to 1,000 pounds. It's versatile, can accommodate various systems, including those designed to breach fortifications. But in today's world, drones are the bigger concern, so why not repurpose this machine to counter them? General Dynamics has come up with a solution. The combat platform comes equipped with a rapid-fire automatic cannon, along with two sets of launchers firing Stinger surface-to-air missiles. These missiles can detect and neutralize threats by tracking heat signals emitted from engines. Also, there's a small area at the rear equipped with its own unmanned aerial vehicle for reconnaissance purposes. All in all, this system forms an effective defense system against low-flying and slow-moving aircraft, helicopters, and drones. Of course, the platform's equipped with advanced sensors and AI-based surveillance technologies. They essentially act as the eyes and ears of the Showrad system, detecting, analyzing, and directing combat power to where it's needed to get the job done. Hatorix. It's great that the device can be easily grabbed from the backpack, making it convenient for one person to carry. Plus, it sets up quickly, which is perfect for fast-paced situations where you need to act fast. After that, the device is actively used by the same soldier who only needs a tablet. All this isn't just for observation, but to run an entire system. The system is designed to detect and engage targets, starting with target acquisition done by an AI system. It automatically combines data from the geographic database, preloaded target data, and visual information from the observation device at the position. All this data is sent to any combat management system via a computer, which then proceeds to eliminate the target. And the best part is, to engage the target, the operator only needs to make three taps on the screen. It's so simple that you can't help but appreciate how useful and advanced the system is. Black Hornet 4 
This device weighs only 2.5 ounces. You think that's too light to be used for military purposes? Think again. You're looking at a real drone. Teledyne Fleer managed to create a tiny unmanned aircraft that not only flies around like a pesky insect, but also provides covert situational awareness for small units. Naturally, the Black Hornet 4 comes equipped with a pretty decent camera. It boasts 12 megapixels and great low-light capabilities, complemented by a high-resolution thermal imager. This setup ensures that the operator gets clear video and photos regardless of the surrounding conditions. What's even more astonishing is that despite its tiny size, the Black Hornet 4 can fly for over 30 minutes and stay connected at a distance of around 1.24 miles, even in winds blowing up to 28 miles per hour. Ever thought about how drone creators could make their mini drones even stealthier? They could disguise them as insects like they do with some other drones. One idea is to model them after giant hornets, which match their size perfectly. With this transformation, drones could gather enemy intel and scare them at the same time. Spike Firefly in just a minute, this drone will be up and running, giving the infantry a visibility zone of about 0.9 miles. After takeoff, it's tough to spot the Spike Firefly drone. Its design blends seamlessly into any background, making it hard to notice. With extra batteries, this stealthy drone can hover in the air for up to 15 or even 30 minutes. Sure, Spike Firefly comes equipped with cameras for surveillance, but that's just the tip of the iceberg. It's got a dual observation system, proximity sensors, and a two-way data transmission channel. This means the operator gets real-time info from the drone. But that's not all, since the drone isn't just a passive observer. The secret of the Spike Firefly's second purpose lies in its detachable compartment. It can hold a warhead weighing up to 6.6 .6 pounds. With this modification, the drone operator not only has a tool for observing the surroundings, but also a means to trigger explosions for demolishing cover or any other purposes. If there's no need for an attack and the drone has done its job of observing, it can be easily returned to the user using a control unit. Pulsar is there anything that can handle drones more effectively than regular weapons? Well, here's Andril's Electromagnetic Warfare System. Yeah, similar systems have been used for a while now to counter annoying drones, but Pulsar really takes it to a new level. To start with, a powerful drone disabling system meets all the latest standards, integrating machine learning algorithms and software-defined radio stations. This ensures rapid monitoring of radio frequency spectrums and immediate response to known and emerging threats. Moreover, Anduril's system is quite versatile. The Pulsar V model can be used alongside ground equipment, whereas the Pulsar A variant is designed for aviation. One standout feature of Pulsar is how fast it can be deployed. It takes just a few hours to get it up and running, so you can quickly secure an area from drones and focus on other important tasks. Mojave. All the drones shown in the video were small, but now it's time to check out this monster. It can carry a payload of up to 3,550 pounds. And guess what this drone is loaded with? Missiles, of course, which is why we call it a monster. Mojave can hold a whopping 16 Hellfire missiles underneath its wings. These missiles are great at taking out various targets since they come with a laser guidance system and can be fitted with different types of warheads. And they can strike targets as far as five miles away. If highly efficient rockets alone aren't cutting it for the tasks at hand, a drone could also be equipped with a minigun. And if Hellfire missiles aren't the right fit, it can carry any other type of ammunition. Mojave's combat prowess is complemented by its ability to take off from relatively short runways just 1,600 feet long. This means the unmanned monster can take to the skies even in less than perfect locations. And of course, what drone operates without reconnaissance gear? None. That's right. That's why Mojave comes with a high-resolution electro-optical infrared sensor and long-range eagle-eye radar. They help identify enemy positions and keep an eye on things. GM-200 this radar functions as a support for other combat systems, 
The GM200 can complete its tasks in two modes, switching between them seamlessly while maintaining surveillance of the airspace, surveillance mode and engagement mode. When GM200 locks onto a target, its coordinates are relayed to short-range and very short-range air defense systems, which neutralize the emerging threat. However, GM200's capabilities don't stop there. The radar can also detect launch and impact threats coming from multiple targets simultaneously, then alert nearby people about it, giving them some time to find shelter. As you might have noticed, the GM200s use both stationary and on a mobile platform like a trailer. When it's on the go, the radar system can be easily moved and deployed within 15 minutes, accommodating two operators and a generator, enabling it to operate completely independently. Over 80 units of GM200 are already proving their worth in action, providing quality protection against airborne threats for numerous people, vehicles, and infrastructure facilities. Barracuda Saab once introduced a camouflage net that was a game-changer in forest environments, concealing soldiers seamlessly while also evading detection from thermal sensors and radars. It worked so well that soldiers couldn't even use GPS or radios. Following this success, Saab decided to take their nearly perfect product to the next level. The net still retains its 3D structure and vibrant colors, making it blend in perfectly with foliage. However, it now incorporates a new technology that weakens radar signals within the 1 to 100 gigahertz range while still allowing GPS and radio signals to pass through. Besides, Saab has made the net adaptable. Under certain circumstances, it can block radar signals while still allowing radio signals, making camouflage useful not just for soldiers, but also for concealing other radars and air defense systems. Themis. The robotic platform from Milrem Robotics equipped with tracks can navigate through even the roughest terrain. However, without any payload, it's basically just a fancy transporter or a moving target on the battlefield. So rather than just slapping on weapons, why not think outside the box? Milrem Robotics has transformed its platform into a mobile system for detecting enemies, communication, spotting gunfire, and surveillance rather than just another robotic turret on wheels. Here, for example, we have a robotic platform with a mast equipped with sensors to observe and improve situational awareness. It swiftly moves to the required spot and then quickly unfolds to start its operation. And here we have a platform that's been equipped with another system, which also sets up quickly and seems to provide different information, judging by another device on the mast. This is all done without humans having to be physically present. They're just operators working remotely. It's a smart solution, keeping soldiers out of harm's way and collecting information even from the front lines. The only issue is the platform's lack of defense. But if these systems are deployed in battle, they won't be alone. They'll have the backing of fire support from robotic platforms. Terminator. Well, it looks like the nightmares of those scared of robots have finally materialized. Yes, that's a robotic dog with a flamethrower mounted on its back. Your eyes aren't deceiving you. Unitree's robotic combat dog comes equipped with advanced features like 4D LiDAR for mapping and navigating obstacles. It also sports a wide-angle front camera, headlight, an 8-core processor, and of course artificial intelligence. All of this technology operates on a four-legged platform, enabling the robot to execute a variety of movements. It can spew flames up to 33 feet for 30 seconds thanks to a modular flamethrower powered by a gasoline or diesel fuel mixture. So when you piece it all together, it looks like we've got a robot that you give a task and it'll carry it either autonomously or it might be directed by a remote operator. It's a bit terrifying to be honest, but it's not as bad as it sounds. The flame spewing robo dogs are being used to get rid of weeds for now. With technology advancing so quickly, it's becoming hard to ignore the idea that we might soon witness scenes straight out of Terminator, like robot dogs shooting flames at humanoid robots on the battlefield, while Boston Dynamics robots with either two or four legs just stand around, maybe busting out another one of their funky dances. Dragonfire You're looking at a project worth $127 million. 
and what you see on your screens is the main outcome. Yep, another instance of what they call future weaponry. But this one's a lot more exciting than what came before. Dragonfire sparking extra interest mainly because there's a tad more info available about it compared to other laser weapons. For example, the creators revealed that this weapon of the future is a solid state laser boasting a 50 kilowatt power. It consists of bundles of doped glass fibers all merged into one beam using a beam combining system. And to top it off, it's equipped with an additional laser and an electro optical camera on its turret for target acquisition and beam correction. Now we understand how Dragonfire works, but what about its practical application? Based on available data, Dragonfire disabled a boat, blinded one unmanned aircraft, and brought down another. And it did so with remarkable precision and cost-effectiveness compared to other contemporary weapons. Yet despite all this, Dragonfire hasn't been officially adopted so far. They're waiting for more tests and upgrades. So it seems like this is truly a weapon of the future that hasn't quite come yet.